Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Sorry I've been away for so long. I feel like that's how I start off every video but life gets busy um, and I've been very bad lately with my eating so that's why I have not been doing any of my WW what I eat in a days but I'm getting back on track. Um, I haven't gained any weight but I haven't really like lost much either. I think I've lost like a half a pound since my last video so I just need to like get back on track. I'm going to be trying on my wedding dress December 7th. I don't think I'm going to be hitting the negative 50 pounds by then, but eh, maybe negative 40 or more. We'll see. So I'm going to be doing another WW what I eat in a day today to basically motivate myself, get myself back on track and keep myself accountable. So we did go grocery shopping last night. We went to Trader Joe's. And I got this everything but the bagel seasoned smoked salmon. I'm so excited about this. So Jack and I recently went to this place called the Locks Bagel Shop in the short north in Columbus, Ohio. And they had a bagel that had cream cheese and salmon on it. It was delicious. So I picked up the Laughing Cow Creamy Swiss in light. And I don't think this is many points, like one or two or something. So I'll have to check my app. But... Um, I'm going to try this for the first time, and then I'm also going to have a little side of maybe like two eggs or something. So, um, instead of a bagel, I'm going to be using bread just for less points. I could like make up some two ingredient bagels, but I just don't feel like it. So, let me whip this up and show you guys, and then I will tell you guys how many points everything was. Alright you guys, I think this is going to be super good. I'm so excited. So I put some of that everything but the bagel sesame seasoning on my eggs because I love putting it on my eggs. And then I did one slice of toast, which was one point one um what was I what was it called? A laughing cow cheese wedge. Yeah. Which was one point. And then two well not even two slices of that salmon, because the slices were huge. I probably did more like one slice, but I still went ahead and counted a point for that. So a three point breakfast for um, my drink I'm having, my typical diet cream mango. So I still have 36 points um, like I did during my last uh, what I eat in a day. So I have 33 points left for the day which is awesome. So this is like a super low point breakfast and I think it's going to be really good. I'll update you guys in a second. Yeah so this is basically the end of it. Um, that was amazing and one of my new favorite breakfasts for sure, I think. So, unfortunately, Trader Joe's is kind of far from us. It's like a half hour away, but Jack actually works close to Trader Joe's. So, I might have to make him go pick up some more of that smoked salmon more often. It was so good. So, I'm going to go ahead and head to the gym and then I will catch up with you guys after. Hey guys, so I just got back from the gym. It's about 12.40 right now. And I'm not really like hungry enough for lunch because I ate a late breakfast, but I did want to go ahead and have a snack and I was feeling a little bit tired, so I wanted to have some coffee. So I'm having coffee with one tablespoon of my Starbucks pumpkin spice latte creamer, which is two points for a tablespoon. Coffee is zero points. And then I'm having a peanut butter built bar, which is four points, making this a six point snack. And let me look on my app really quickly. So I've used up nine points and I have 27 points left for lunch and dinner. Hey guys, so it is 2.30 now and I'm really not even that hungry because I had that snack earlier, but I'm like, I need to eat something for lunch, but I'm just honestly not that hungry. And so I thought, what about a smoothie? I haven't really had one in a while. So I'm gonna see how this turns out. I'm doing some almond milk, ice, Two packets of Splenda, two bananas, and two tablespoons of the chocolate PB Fit. Making this, let me see here on my app. Um, that makes it three points for the PB Fit, one point for the almond milk, and that's it. So this is going to be a four point smoothie. So let me mix this up and I'll let you guys know how good it is. We'll see. Alright, so I tasted the smoothie, and it is actually really, really good. So, I'm going to just have this for lunch, and it's 2.40 at this point, so this should definitely fill me up. I'm going to get started with dinner around 5. Jack said he's going to leave work around 6, so that way dinner is all done for him when he gets home. So, this should definitely fill me up until then. 
Hey guys, so Jack is on his way home and I'm gonna go ahead and get dinner started. I'm having this bonza spaghetti made from chickpeas. It's gluten free and although I do not have celiacs, I think I am like a little bit gluten sensitive. I get very bad gas when I eat gluten, TMI, but whatever. Um, so I'm going to try this out because I've heard that it's good. I'm going to have three ounces of this. I forget the points, but I'll tell you guys in a second. And I'm going to use my zero point marinara sauce that I uh, got the recipe from the skinniest dish. You can still see that it's actually a teeny bit frozen still. And then I did not know that these meatballs were so big and so many points. I got them from Kroger and they're huge. So I'm going to have three of them though. I love meatballs and I've been craving them. I don't know if you guys can tell how big they are but oh my gosh like they are huge so i'm gonna have three of them i'm gonna have three ounces of pasta and then a little bit of that sauce and the sauce is zero so i can always have basically as much as i want and that uses up the rest of my points for the day so three meatballs is 15 points oh my gosh but I've been craving them, so it's fine. I'll just use up the rest of my points. And then the bonza spaghetti, I am doing three ounces, which is eight points. So it's a pretty, like, heavy dinner, but I've been craving something like this for a while. So that's what I'm going to have. All right, so here it is, all finished. Super, super good. And the pasta is actually really good. So if you have celiac disease or you eat gluten-free, I would definitely recommend this bonza pasta over like a gluten-free pasta even though this is gluten-free but you know what i mean like the ones that just say gluten-free on them this is way better so that is it you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to like comment and most importantly subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one